Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. It's been a while since I've actually made a video. I know that the videos have been coming out every Tuesday, Saturday, but they were recorded quite a while back. I've been so busy, seven days a week. I've been playing soccer on Sundays, trying to get my foot sorted. I'm feeling fit, I'm feeling healthy. I've lost the best part of almost 10 kilos as well. I went from 91 down to 82.6. So a fair few kilos or pounds if you're in America or Canada lost. So really happy with that. Feeling good, feeling healthy. Not feeling so fresh. I am, this is my seventh day of eight in terms of working straight in a row. I do try to have the weekends off, but I've still been working the weekends as well. But I've got one more day tomorrow, and then I've got five days off, and it's my son's birthday party on Saturday. It's his ninth birthday. And sorry, I forget what I'm doing in these videos now. Art of Shaving Lemon Essential Oil Shaving Cream. Now this stuff, I don't think the ingredients are actually on here. No, they're not. There's no ingredients on here. I think there's actually a box that comes with this, but there's no ingredients. Art of Shaving make very expensive products, but they're very good. You know, this cream's excellent, but as you can see, it is a hollow tub. So the tub looks massive, but you get a tiny bit of cream in it. But I'm almost done with this one. I think there's only a few more shaves in it. it smells lovely though. It's like lemon whipped cream. Using my Leo Frio two band badger from Magard. You can see the tips on that, lovely. This one is my Manchester United brush. Lovely brush, lovely knot. And I'll go straight into the shaving soap, shaving cream. So yeah, it's just been hectic, been so busy. And as you can see, the first thing I should really mention, I have a beard again. All down to the part of the fact that I got so run down once again that I got covered in cold sores. I had four at one point. I've only got sort of two now showing, but I did have four cold sores all going at the same time. And it was brutal and it did my head in. And that was part of the reason why I stopped the videos. I was just so run down. I just needed a bit of a break just to get my suit sorted. Right, so it's going to be a head shave because I don't have much stuff to shave at the moment, as you can imagine. So this will be a head shave and a face shave. And I think this lemon essential oil from Art of Shaving will be the first tub of soap or cream. Look at that. I've actually finished. I don't I don't think I had this from brand new, but it was very, very lightly used. Someone sent me or I might have purchased it, I can't remember. The weather over here in Australia has still been really, really nice. Sitting around sort of mid-twenties during the day, which is my sort of perfect ideal weather. Once it gets up to the thirties, I struggle with the heat. So the weather's been absolutely lovely. It does get really cold at night. Well, I say really cold, it gets down to about sort of 14 degrees at the moment, most nights, which for my standards over here, that's pretty cold now. Right, that could do with more water, but I think that's absolutely fine. That's thick enough for me. For the head shave, the Gillette Fusion. Lots of people have just seen to have this, you know, Gillette bring out a crazy advert. Everyone all of a sudden hates Gillette. I think people... All right, that was just my phone ringing. I didn't answer it because it was a one of those cold calls, PNS, phone calls. Yeah, like I was saying with Gillette, I think people forget that without Gillette, really, most of you guys out there wouldn't have amazing safety razors. They were pretty much the pioneers of the best of the best. And yes, they fucked up, but who the hell doesn't? You can't sit there, get on your eye horse, and tell me that you've never fucked up in life. If you could sit there and tell me you've never fucked up, I know you're lying. Everyone makes mistakes. Okay, in my opinion as well, I agree. Gillette made a mistake. Oh. Let's just sort of my view on it. 
I'm going to haul you guys out of your slam these. What are you buying Gillette products? Why are you buying Gillette? Why are you supporting Gillette? And then you jump into your bathroom and use your vintage Gillette fat boy. Same company. Nothing's changed. It's the same people. So it's just a observation for myself. And I'm not saying all of you. Some of you might have sold every Gillette product that you've got. That's a bit different. That's me going a bit extreme but if that's your prerogative to do that that's brilliant I would never shoot anyone down for their beliefs or what they think but I know for a fact there's people out there slamming Gillette in the traditional wet shaving world that then go into the bathroom and use a Gillette fat boy made by the same company that they're slamming yes it was made in a different era by different people it's the same company And even if you're not using Gillette double-edged razors, I'd be very surprised if you didn't have Gillette double-edged blades because they make some of the best blades for safety razors on earth. Some of the smoothest, some of the sharpest, some of the best quality razor blades. Sort of lucky really because even to this day I haven't even seen the advert I haven't been interested in watching it I'm just going on what other people say so even I could be bullshitting just based on people's attitudes towards the advert and everything else that's what I'm basing what I'm saying on this Gillette Fusion shaves closer and smoother on my head than any other razor in the den even the head blade the Coles 5 blade razor bloody phone rang again I had to answer it that time got a lovely Indian lady trying to sell me search in engine optimization for my business and I very politely told her where to go. I don't think these people do any research. Oh shit. Any research whatsoever before they ring. Because we are one of the highest ranked Google searches for our area. And just fucking ring you up. I give you a pile of bullshit. That's always some numpty out there that takes them up on their offer. And then they rip them off. Does my head in. Ring you from an Australian number based in India. <laughs> Wankers. Now I know everyone has to make a living. So in some regards I can't shoot them down too much because everyone has to pay the bills. But fuck me, there's got to be a better way to pay the bills. Rinse that off. All right. The water on my neck, which is really all I'll be shaving now <laughs> until these cold sores go away. And even then, I don't know whether I might just keep the beard a little bit. I did enjoy it last time, once I got over the itch, which is just happening now, it was actually quite enjoyable. Something a bit different. And it is coming into winter time over here, so that little bit of 
here on your neck or in your face. Keeps you that little bit warmer, especially when I'm riding to work. Right, here we go. Oh, sorry. The car, the Christopher Bradley Razor. I've been running the A plate on this for the last, pretty much since I started this beard. I've got a Gillette Super Thin. From Thailand, and the razor, and it's a sensational blade. This is about the, I think, 10th shave on it. Albeit, it's all just been neck, a little bit of the cheeks here, and I've done the head twice with it as well. But these Gillette super thin blades are exceptional. They're really, really good blades. Very cheap if you buy them in Thailand. Very expensive if you buy them on eBay. I think you can buy a 120 pack in Thailand for about six, seven or eight bucks. If you buy them on eBay, you're looking at about $45, 30 to $50 on average. For something that you can pick up in the country of origin for less than 10. That's Australian dollars. So even less than American dollars. One thing I'm finding with this A plate is that it's very, very comfortable against the grain. Just finding in general with this plate that I'm getting less irritation, less redness, less ingrowns. It just seems to do very well, especially on my neck. All I'm doing is shaving my neck at the moment and I'm not getting any real problems whilst using this plate. Weepers on the way. Right, let's just rinse that off. Achieve this I had to start shaving this beard really early on because I was working so it's not as neat as I would like but it's good enough and that's it I'm dusted It certainly helps a little bit when you're really busy to only have to shave your neck for work. <laughs> it certainly does. And I do my head reasonably regularly. You can see the tips on that. All oh, starting to gel. It'll never be an elite, elite knot, but it's certainly a very nice knot. Really soft, really comfortable on the skin. It's got no scritch or scratch, but it's got plenty of scrub. Plenty of backbone, it's very dense. That's all that's left of that. Art of shaving, lemon essential oil. It's getting smashed every time I use it. 
I am trying to get rid of it. And the sad thing is, even though I really enjoy using it, it's far too expensive for me to go out and buy again. I just wouldn't buy it. I love the smell of it. I love the performance. It's slick, it's creamy, it's reasonably dense, easy to work with, lasts quite a long time, but I just cannot justify the price of it compared to some real good quality artisan soaps. Right, so that was the soap for the ladder was the Manchester United Leo Frio custom brush. Leo Frio. If you want to know how to find him, he's on Facebook on Perfect Woodwork LLC. And you can find him on there. He's also on Instagram and everything. Just a top bloke, easy to work with, makes your brush very quickly, gives you loads of options to choose from and does a tremendous job when he actually makes the brush. The Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. Now this is the Gillette Fusion Chill. This one has the, the blue strip there and there, which offer a little bit of sort of mental ease feeling. I don't notice it so much now. I've used this quite a bit. This has probably gone past 10 shaves now. And the blades still are crystal clear, nothing on them. Just absolutely spotless. It's smooth, it's comfortable, it's efficient. It does a great job. It gets me super BBS with no irritations, no real nicks or cuts or weepers, nothing at all. Just smooth BBS, no problems. Great razor. I can't really praise it enough and it shaves the face great as well i can't shave with it every day in my face but i can in my head it's one of the few razors i can shave every day in my head without any irritation and finished off today on the face shave with the carve christopher bradley razor this is a three and a half inch handle i believe it's the argyle style the actual crisscross on there is called the argyle there's only four of these in the world so i'm really 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 happy to have one over the moon that chris sent me one over and that's just a look at the blade there Gillette Super Thin. It's had several uses. I couldn't tell you how many now, but way more than, than what you should get from a double-edged razor blade. But they're just exceptional blades, and guess what? From Gillette. So, in my opinion, if you want to use the best of the best, Gillette razor blades are generally the best. And if you want the best cartridge razors, I haven't tried the shit for a long time. I will be trying a few more carts just to see how they go. But Gillette just make the best blades on earth, in my opinion. There's nothing. My favourite blades, all of them, are all Gillette blades. All the different the ones behind me, vintage blades, the super stainless spoilers, Nasset, rubies, super thins, greens, blacks, yellows. They're all brilliant. They're just exceptional blades. So in one way or another, I'm sure you guys out there that are slamming Gillette, you'll be using a Gillette product somewhere unless you've chucked them all out. So yeah, just my thoughts on it. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed the shave. It's glad, well, I'm glad to be back on the camera again. It's been a little while. I'll get another few videos done over the next few days and that'll keep me rolling for another couple of weeks, hopefully, if I'm struggling again. But other than that, you guys stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.